today we're going to discuss vitamin D. And vitamin D is well now known for its bone metabolism effects. Today we want to talk about other diseases that it's involved in. Recent research has shown that in diabetes patients, if patients have diabetes and decreased vitamin D, then they have up to a two times increased risk of cardiovascular disease compared to diabetic patients that have normal levels of vitamin D. So decreased vitamin D in a diabetic increases their risk of cardiovascular disease by two times. That's something that can be avoided by optimizing their vitamin D levels. As far as atherosclerosis risk, vitamin D has been shown to decrease atherosclerosis, and atherosclerosis is a fancy term for uh, clogged arteries and placking of the vasculature. Vitamin D has been shown to decrease, or excuse me, increase insulin sensitivity in, in people with blood sugar issues, so that's insulin resistance, prediabetes, diabetes. Uh, in terms of brain health, vitamin D has been shown to increase what's called brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And what that does is that improves neuronal synapses and neuron function so that cognition is improved and risk for cognitive decline and neurodegenerative diseases is decreased. Vitamin D also plays a huge role in the immune system. So if you've watched my previous videos, you know that vitamin D is a big player in autoimmunity and helping minimize flares there. And the way it does that is it inhibits or decreases matrix metalloproteinases, which are big time molecules involved in tissue damage and autoimmunity. Vitamin D also decreases C-reactive protein and other pro-inflammatory cytokines that are involved in causing damage and autoimmunity. And then vitamin D also increases T regulatory cells, which are the cells of the immune system that quiet things down and are anti-inflammatory. They promote tolerance, which means they help the immune system know the difference between self and non-self. So using vitamin D increases T regulatory cells, which helps the immune system better distinguish between what's me and what's not me, and only attack what's not me. So if you have chronic inflammation, if you have diabetes, if you have neurocognitive issues, if you have immune dysfunctions, vitamin D is one of the key nutrients that you want to make sure is sufficient and you want to do that through testing and then pound for pound, dollar for dollar, vitamin D is one of the cheapest nutrients on the planet that can give you one of the best return on investment possible.